The Yoruba World Congress, YWC, has thrown its weight behind the evacuation of Almajari to their respective states of origin by northern governors, noting that it was good for Nigeria's development. They noted that it is time to end totalitarianism and over-centralization, which they said was hindering the country's development. The YWC, in a statement entitled titled, Time to Enhance of Totalitarianism, by its communications secretary, Akogun Tola Adeni, said the recent evacuation of the thousands of Almajare across the 19 northern states as a result of the coronavirus pandemic is an indication of the governor's age-long dissatisfaction with the federal government's meddlesomeness in the running of their respective primary education system. And now we are joined by Kabir Adamu to look at the security implication of this move. Good morning, Mr. Adamu. Uh, good morning. And good to have you. Uh, you must Thank have heard you. about the evacuation of Almajaris uh, to their respective states. What's your thought on this evacuation? Uh, it is a very important development and an opportunity to correct uh, a very sore part of our national existence. The Almajiri phenomenon has been discussed extensively. Uh, the history is known. Its ills are understood. Um, if you recall, in December 2019, when the government published the revised national security strategy, the, the, the national security advisor spoke extensively around the Almajiri phenomenon and said he was going to do everything possible to ensure that it, it is discontinued. Mm. So, to that extent, I see this as a very good development and it, a very good opportunity to end in its entirety this Almajari phenomenon. Right. The uh, only thing that worries me is that the governors went ahead to execute this evacuation in an uncoordinated manner. I would have wanted a situation where, as governors, since they have the governor's forum, they would have documented these Almajaris, probably tested them in the places where they were, isolated the ones that perhaps are already um, infected with COVID-19 so that the one, those ones will not go and infect the other ones that are evacuating together. Unfortunately, that never happened. And we're also aware that some of these Almajiris were evacuated without the state they were being evacuated to, knowing that they are, they are actually coming in. So there was no form of documenting them or even testing, testing them. So it's possible that they, they may be modes of transmission to the states where they've been evacuated to. As a, as, as a security expert, uh, Mr. Adamu, do you think there could be a security implication as a result of this evacuation? Um, studies have been conducted as far back as um, 2008. And the then National Security Advisor conducted an extensive study on the security implication of the Almagiri phenomenon. At that time, there was no correlation between the Almajiri phenomenon and terrorism. However, opportunistic crimes, um, they are used in terms of social strife, uh, social disorder, protests, and all that was well documented. Um, so that one, there is a very huge possibility that when you move um, youths who have been trained, unfortunately, in some of these cr criminal acts to other locations and it's not being documented, then you are transferring those criminal acts to those locations. And then um, it's also been documented that there are available uh, soldiers, quote and unquote, to be recruited by different criminal gangs. So where you don't have a documentation of that movement, all of these are, possi are possibilities. Now, uh, some have argued that the Almajari phenomenon has been neglected uh, for so long and to fester also as a result. Uh, in your opinion, how did it get to this unfortunate uh, point, this unfortunate situation? Um, there is a historical background to the Almajari phenomenon. Uh, it's based on the idea that uh, young people uh, being taken to very prominent uh, scholars, clerics, who will now teach them. Um, so we, we need to take no, um, cognizance of that, that there is a cultural and probably religious um, aspect to this. Mm. So when that cultural or religious aspect is not addressed, in other words, the desire 
or knowledge um, which is behind the phenomenon has not been addressed, uh, then uh, it, it would it would continue, and that's exactly what happened. And l let me explain this further. Um, every parent, quote and unquote, uh, who is a Muslim would want his children to acquire knowledge. Now, whether that parent is aware that this um, pre practice, al majri practice, is not is no is no longer relevant, mm -hmm. um, it, it's a subject of the debate. I know educated parents are aware that is no longer relevant. For uneducated parents still see it as a practice. So um, the issue of neglect has arisen because those particular group of parents who do not realize the danger in the al phenomenon, I don't think there was enough engagement in terms of advocacy and campaigns to make them understand that these are the ills of al phenomenon. That's on the one hand. On the second part, there was no attempt to provide an alternative um, that would now show them that instead of the Almagiri phenomenon, this is a more progressive, more functional system. Yes, Western education is there, uh, but it does not replace that desire for them to educate their children in Islamic education. There was an attempt by some states to match the two together, that Western education and Islamic education. Unfortunately, those attempts, models, were not um, practiced to the extent that it will become uh, a, a practicable model for those type of parents. Right. Um, so in this case, there there are uh, the almajiris. There are those who are already infected. There are those who have been sent to states where even the states they are coming into are not aware. So there are the, the, it could be said of cases of maybe people who are they are really hanging, not knowing where to be. Uh, how would you advise the federal government to? What would you advise them to do uh, at this point in time in helping uh, to solve this dilemma or this problem? Uh, for the Almagiri? Um, since Nigeria started implementing its COVID-19 pandemic response, one of the critical issues that we have highlighted is um, the absence of coordination between the federal and state government. I know the Presidential Task Force on COVID-19 has done uh, a good job in trying to improve that, that coordination. However, there, there are gaps, and one of the gaps is, is visible in this uh, particular aspect. So um, some of some of the issues are already late. Uh, they've already been transferred. So I think an immediate campaign and advocacy to communities to say anytime you see a group of children uh, coming into your community, as a community, you should take responsibility. Uh, and that is why the campaign by NCDC is very good. Take responsibility, document them, call the relevant NCDC in the state or wh whichever, it could be the primary health care agency in the state or whatever number that has been provided, let them come and test them, isolate them, and make sure the ones that are infected among them are, tre are, are treated. Otherwise, like I mentioned earlier, there will be a mode, mode of transmission of COVID-19. All right. Thank you so very much, Adamu Kabiri there, and please do stay safe out there.